everybody, it's me, Mariah, and I'm really sorry about the lighting, the sun is going down. Um, I've been really sick, and so I got up just for you guys, and I thought I would be, you know, on time with the sun, but the sun is like, nah, I'm gonna go down. So yeah, let's just film this really fast so you don't film in the dark. I tried to film a first impressions video, but the footage was really bad, it was way too bright, and... You literally couldn't even see the box or my face. All you could see were like my eyes, my lips, and my hair. And I was like, nope, we gotta redo this. So I'm really sorry. I really tried to do a first impressions uh, opening for my box, but it just didn't happen. So this month of February, I got my very last box from Birchbox. And I'm really sad about that, but hopefully we can start getting more boxes from either Birchbox or Ipsy. Whatever you guys want, just let me know and I will try to get that to happen ASAP. Anyways, this is my box this month. It's really, really cute. It's a peachy color and there's some stuff on it. There's like bobby pins, an arrow, an infinity, infinity, an infinity sign, some moons, some stars, you know, really nice stuff. And I'm sorry, my nails are totally chipped. I forgot. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. The first thing I have is this chlorine shampooing sec oh that's in a different language <laughs> i have the chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk it's a gentle formula for brown and dark hair this is really cool because i really need a dry shampoo i never buy them because they're so expensive even though i need them it's just you know i can't bring myself to buy it so maybe i'll actually start buying them once this thing runs out um, I tried it out. It's really really nice. It's a little light, but once I you know worked it in it was fine uh, Really really good stuff. I really liked it. The next thing I have is this Malin and goats clarifying clay mask and it's really really nice It has exfoliating beads inside so when you put it on you put it on in a circular motion and it's supposed to Exfoliate your face and it really helps with breakouts. I've been breaking out really bad lately and it helps clear things up. I have really bad nose issues where like the skin starts to slough off and it's really gross. I used it for that and it worked really good. I used that much already and I've used it like three times. It runs out fast but it works so good I, I, I don't even care. I just don't even care. <laughs> I have this, I think it's Joara. But I try to make everything French lately, so whatever. This Jvora Candle Nut Body Cream, which smooths, moisturizes, and softens the skin. It says, apply on skin anytime it feels dry, and enjoy Jvora's signature velvety feel and Bali-inspired fragrance. It is so nice. I haven't used it really yet, but I did swatch it to smell. Oh my god, and it smells so good. It's like a really flowery, kind of creamy scent. I know that's weird to say it smells creamy, but it, sm it smells creamy and really flowery, and I really like this stuff. Next is the Kula Face SPF 30 Unscented Matte Tint Natural BB Cream Sunscreen. This is not a BB cream. It lies. But it's really, really nice. I do like that it doesn't smell weird. Like, there's, there's hardly any scent to it, and it comes out yellow, but it just blends into your skin. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It doesn't give me any coverage at all, but it is really matte and really, really nice. And literally, it was like, where, what, how? So I really like this. I'm probably going to start using this. I need to start using sunscreen on my face every day. I just forget. Probably going to start using it. The very last thing I have is this Lip Enhancer Illusion Lip Liner by Model Co. Yeah, Model Co. And at first I was really bummed out and I was probably going to give it to my mom because the color is really browny, kind of a raisin color. But then when I actually put it on my lips, it looked really nice. It was kind of like, not really like a nude lip for me, but something I wouldn't feel totally weird about wearing as a nude lip. It was really nice, didn't feel weird on the lips, it was very comfortable on the lips. And overall I really liked it, although one complaint I do have is the fact that the back of the pencil looks like it's going to be a really nice hot pink, Barbie pink color, and I'm all, yes, a Barbie pink color, and then it was brown. 
and it's like, why did you show me a pink pencil if it's brown? Anyways, that's all I got in my birch box. I know this was a pretty short video, but the, the sun's going down. I feel like crap. <laughs> so, yeah. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and tell me what you think. Also, let me know what your favorite product is, whether you got it from Ipsy, from Birchbox, or if you just bought it at the store. And you think it's pretty cool. I'd really like that. Also, let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you guys later. Bye!